Hi everyone and welcome to this week uh, webinar for uh, the React NanoDegree at Udacity. This is our uh, webinar number nine. It's been two months and is uh, uh, we have with this it would be like the not the latest uh, the last one for Redux but next week we will finish uh, with the webinars with uh, Redux content and we will go with React Native. Um, in this series, we will talk about Redux and Asynchronicity, and next week we will complete it with uh, uh, normalizing a state, okay, the shape of the state. Uh, they are both, uh, both uh, related uh, topics, so uh, this, this uh, next week Gomina will be related to this one. Uh, most of the part of this content, uh, we have seen it in the webinar six, where we, we, we talked about Redux uh, middleware, but uh, we, as for from the city gu guideline, we have to focus more in this part. We will make some uh, uh, remembering of, of, of the content and leave you with some links. And of course, as always, uh, if you have any question, uh, let me check. I think the, the video is like uh, not going well. As always, we have some kind of. Okay, let me check. Uh huh. Okay. You know, sometimes uh, the last week we had a problem with the with the life. Uh, so yeah, I think it's it's perfect. It's working. It's uh, it's just my my YouTube pan, uh, pan control panel that just uh, gets broken. Okay, that's that's perfect. Nice to to not being uh, crazy about it as last week. Sorry for that. Okay, so uh, the topic of this webinar is around asynchronicity. You have um, a lot of this of, of content about, about this topic in the extracurricular lessons at your Ryan and Uri at Uda City. They are amazing. Uh, I, I, you, I, you, most of you have seen the ECMAScript 6 content because, you know, like when you dive into React and you see the examples, you see that people use a lot of, uh, I think, uh, sorry, ECMAScript uh, syntax. And, uh, but also the, the other um, content for extracurricular uh, topics are amazing. So, uh, we, we, in, the, in those uh, topics, you will see like how Ajax worked, how asynchronous, uh, what asynchronous JavaScript is, uh, how it was held in jQuery, and how now it's uh, run with the Fetch API from the HTML5 um, API. So, uh, in some words, what's asynchronicity is just, uh, I like it to define right now. Uh, we passed the uh, Wikipedia definitions a while ago, so now I like to define them with uh, coll colloquial words. It's just, you ask for a resource, and instead of waiting for the response of that resource, you just go to do something else, and the, the resource, when that resource is, uh, is available, that the response for that uh, query, uh, you get uh, notified, so you say, okay, uh, now I have received uh, the response and I, I deal with it. I just added the, that loading spinner uh, because that's what uh, lots of uh, requests appear in in our our webs and apps uh, nowadays. Uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, uh, because late, um, some years ago when content was mostly uh, synchronous and you were like uh, sending submitting a form all the page was reloaded and, and served from the from the server and never, uh, and now uh, you, you know that you have literal components on your applications and the components have their own life or their own state so you can build like uh, loading little different different loading states for your content to be prepared and organized for the user. So uh, this is when this being said, um, JavaScript uh, usually relates with asynchronous code with the, the callbacks, uh, the functions that are passed to a resource 
to a invocation that so when that uh, that's a query that function ends uh, calls the function you passed to that function uh, that's a callback function so uh, and that's where you get uh, notified uh, even that for most of you some of you sorry uh, are new to the uh, half up or half work with the modern javascript when you use other tools as promises and uh, single await as uh, you see in the presentation you will see that internally there is a lot of work done with the callback functions okay that's a very um, big and important uh, work a way of working okay so um and then another way is promises and the latest uh, uh, implementation to deal with promises is the async wake async await method they are mostly uh, syntax difference uh, for writing the code but uh, there are all also differences um in how they work inside but but this now so and, and um the best example for for managing asynchronous code is uh, while fetching API, we're, we're requesting APIs. So what we're going to see in this kind of examples is querying an external API. Uh, and this webinar, I'm not going to leave the uh, the presentation downloadable at the end. And we I haven't gone with uh, GitHub code repository uh, because it takes uh, like uh, more work and um, and uh, and you know, once I get uh, there's been I think some some weeks where we haven't been with a lot of people online, so uh, I will try to make some differences to take to come back to the or real time webinars to help you better. So I I, I am just leaving these uh, presentations to the end. When you ask me if you want them, ask me in private. I will pass you the the PDF, but I don't want to leave them on the, the public link on YouTube. So, uh, okay, so uh, as I told you, uh, Redux is, uh, well, uh, I didn't tell you, but on Webinar 6 in Redux Media World, we talked more a lot of, of about uh, how Redux worked, and we saw that Redux is as it's synchronous. It doesn't manage asynchronicity by default. So what we have to do is, uh, I'm watching that my, my presentation didn't prepare for my head being over there. So yeah, and now I think I'm, I'm better in here. So, uh, sorry, uh, it's um, just works with synchronicity because only has can deal with synchronous actions because actions are defined by just objects. Okay, and we saw there that for dealing with uh, asynchronicity, for dealing with side effects, with dealing with other things that uh, middleware in Redux was built for, for uh, you, you needed to be able to uh, return uh, functions from the actions. And that's where we saw the Redux thunk middleware. So if you come here to this um, webinar to learn everything about Redux thunk, because I made a lot of information in the um, Red webinar six, I just uh, will leave a link in the presentation for going to that video. Uh, sorry, in the description of this video to going back to that video with the PDF of, of that uh, webinar six. And, and all, we are already talked about we can use other libraries like Redux Saga, Redux Connect, Redux Observable. I am waiting uh, if you want an extra video or, or extra lesson over the channel about talking about these other libraries because I think they are uh, amazing. But, um, there are lots of them. I just um, left these three because they are the most important and the, the ones that appear in Google. There are also some libraries for using Redux in, with the router and of course the most important or the most uh, the most uh, followed or uh, started uh, repository in GitHub is the Redux router library. So, um, for the, uh, for working with API calls, we have to think about okay. Now we have to wait for the answers. We have to start the call and wait for that call and receive the answers. Or and the answer can be a timeout, an error, or or or, or, or just the content. Okay. So 
so we have to think in different ways uh, when we begin begin to deal with asynchronous uh, code in Redux. If we want to manage it with a user uh, experience on it, with a good user experience on it, so uh, uh, usually we want to show, like I say here, like we want to inform that the re request began. Imagine the button that sends a form. We just want to uh, disable it. Maybe at the loading, like uh, sending the form or validating the form or refetching the sec next page, wherever uh, you want to add. And you want to show the information, okay? Well, maybe uh, an, an alert that the function, the form was successfully uh, sent or redirect, or obviously, oh, uh, there was a timeout, the server is down, or you had an error in your form while validating on the server. Uh, but uh, so you want to inform about these kind of things. So I just wanted to to take a very simple example. When you want to build your uh, components and your uh, information uh, like asynchronous. Uh, so uh, what we want to do First, we take a look about uh, how we would work with synchronicity. And imagine that you are building a website where you have like the typical button or select. You see, this is its basic HTML, where you see that a, a, a select country and they can select a, a country. And once they select the country, we uh, ask an API for the cities in that country. Uh, wow, I, think, uh, <laughs> I see that my, I didn't put the encoding for the HTML example and Coruña is not well written. Uh, it was a quick example and I see that my file. So I remember that you have to put uh, HTML encoders at the head at the beginning of the website of uh, your code with uh, UTF-8, UTF for example, for you know, you know, normal words. Maybe Russian needs UTF-16, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, uh, now we have, you know, we you asked for the API, okay, I just selected the, or the country, uh, and now tell me the cities in this country, the cities in the name or language of this country or the language selected by the user. Uh, so you see that, you know, the uh, filling around forms can get to be uh, complex and with a lot of data, no? Um, in this quick example, with five drop downs, you could just maybe, uh, fetch all the information at the beginning and don't have to wait for for the user being uh, clicking every every part of the form. But you you, you get the point that it's nice to be uh, showing this kind of information. Maybe uh, the select country is in a in one part of the form a page you know multiple page forms and the select city is another page. So uh, think around it. Of course, the select country also is uh, uh, comes from an API. But this is the point when we select a country. We get an action and we want to fetch the cities okay so uh for um for i, I think i have a, another typo here in the presentation later but we will see that uh, for synchronous action creators we would be having like the action for select country right that's an action we want to reflect in redux our country id selected selected country id uh, country id and uh, we want to like, okay, uh, fetch the city's success and fetch the city's failure. We want to show, okay, uh, if we have an action that is fetch city's failure, we want to show in a Redux error, errors uh, about, okay, we had an error in this form. Or if we want to uh, show uh, we have the fetch city's success, we want to include in a Redux uh, store the uh, country, the city's um, ref um, ref fetched. Uh, if you go to the um, official documentation, you will see that this kind of uh, uh, related uh, actions can be with different actions or with the same actions, adding extra, extra uh, parameters to the action, like uh, the data, you would be having like um, the payload or something where it says, okay, it's a type uh, fetch cities, but it's with the subtype or uh, think of that failure or the subtype success. That's up to you. I just uh, chose this because I think it's the easiest or the most common way you see in the documentations. So, uh, 
So now with this kind of uh, work, we will create the synchronous action creators. We have like uh, the first one when we want to um, use the select country. Imagine we are building this in a sound file or in a common file and we export the the constant for that action and we uh, we build remember the action creators we are keeping it in as with the synchronous we don't need to add the redux tank so it's just normal redux uh, action creators we export it and the name is the select country uh wow i think it's country that's not good there uh, it should be lowercase so sorry for that i just made a lot of changes at the end of the presentation and so uh, I, I miss this kind of uh, typo. Remember that this means like a constant, so this should be like a lowercase. Um, but receives the country selected by the user and puts, uh, you know, um, handles it. So uh, for the request cities, okay, think about, okay. Uh, now uh, look at this, come here. Let me go here. Now, uh, we are going to change this into, uh, we have the request cities and the received cities, okay? We're going to think about this part of things. So we divide them when we ask for a city and when we, um, when we uh, ask, think about this. Now we, we, we this is, would be, the select country synchronous action creator. Now, from those actions we, you saw before, that would be like the normal synchronous actions, the fed city's failure or fed city's success. We want to uh, change and think about, wow, how it would be in a synchronous action creator way. And we now divide like, okay, when we, we make the request for the API would be like request the country. Uh, the city, sorry, and when we receive the, 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 the cities, that would be the received cities, okay? So they are like, we now divide the actions in two parts, and this is going to be commonly with the uh, synchronous, uh, with a synchronous city. So we think about, okay, now uh, we just, I just change the, how we're going to divide our action, we are, our request, we are going to, we think that, okay, we are thinking, we are building synchronous action creators because they just return uh, actions, but we think on them, just thinking about that we are building a new action that goes with um, synchronicity. So uh, for being like better obvious, in this example, we might be like adding something like, uh, let me check here, oh, sorry, uh, I don't know why. This is not working. Okay, I'm going to get out of the presentation. And here, we could be like having an, uh, a second part where we have like, okay, that would be how we would be building the errors and the success. But for the example, uh, we have the request cities. Okay, I, sorry. Um, Let's look at this one. This would be like, okay. Um, uh, 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 uh. So, this is an action. And we have the third action that would be like receive cities. So, yeah. Uh, another part that I wanted to do in this uh, webinars would be like being be more error prone to be more like life errors and life problems to solve in the code or even in the presentation. So not being so like a real uh, a PDF uh, already done webinar because if not, I think that we are all mostly prone to, to, um, to to just not go to the webinar and just uh, wait for the, you know, like download the, the the PDF and put it in big speed when it's recorded in fast speeds and don't come to the real uh, webinar. So um, that's why I, I left this like, okay, not perfect as I usually like to make them. So 
let this let's see that okay now think about we have oh sorry i was clicking now we have this okay we have the senate country the fed city's failure the fed city success that just are to show uh things of errors but we could think that fed city success and fed city's failure would be inside of them but just to for showing it to you now we, we see okay when you select the country we select the country and we would be firing like the request cities we would be like maybe showing a key a loader and with the receive cities is uh, that action is called when you know in the callback when the uh, api ends we fill this form so that's what we want but we have to build in synchronous action creators because we don't know how to build them if you have seen the uh, webinar six years, you know. So you have the select country, normal country. The request cities is just, okay, I just am um, a create an action creator that returns an object with the type and with a, a country that is passed, okay? Because we want to query an API saying, okay, for this country, for this country code, or for this country, wherever, just tell me the cities. Okay, uh, this is very basic because you could be asking for lots of uh, other things. And the latest one is like, okay, now I want um, to see how um, the action for when you receive the the, the data. No? So, okay, now we have to uh, uh, action creator that receives two options, the country also and the JSON, okay? So now we can have, okay, this is the tribe, the country that was uh, for that cities, uh, for those cities requested, you can you could all or, um, of course uh, remove it and we would be having the cities always also in in camel case i don't know why uh, we would be having the cities and adding them uh, from the json uh, return from the api and i imagine like json data children map that's uh, like an example where you see okay that's the return of an api Maybe the API could serve it better, but you know, and we could be adding like a received ad, so you can be, or updated ad, so you can be like uh, saving in your Redux store how, uh, when was the last time you you requested for something, or what, when, what, when was the last time you updated something with, so this kind of information is, is nice. But uh, I didn't put it in the actions or in the Redux store, I think, but um, it's nice to see examples where you see that you can manage this and you should. Okay, now we go to designing the state shape. I just, when I was doing this uh, designing, I just was uh, doing it normalized, okay? So, I didn't want to, uh, but later I realized that's okay, normalizing is the shape of a state or the state shape it's uh, content for the next webinar so i say okay i have to leave it simple so that's this is like okay the simplest way of doing uh, a state shape uh the the those of you who have done the the project already congratulations of course uh in but you rather you will see that of course you could you you it's uh, better if you uh do the normalized uh, state shape okay so uh, I added like, okay, this is the store, okay? So for the store, I added uh, a parameter for the selected country, uh, that would be the ID, for example, and it's um, it's null. Um, oh yeah, that's from the old, from the old, um, from the old um, state shape. This should be the name, okay? The selected country uh, would be the name, uh, yeah, that's from the, the the normalized state shape. Okay, so this would be better the name or the country code. So it would be coming here. So that's that's uh, from the from the previous from the advanced part. So uh, select country uh, select country would be here like Spain, for example. Or if we select, and we have the countries and the cities, the countries. We now that we are working on APIs, it's nice to, to having every item the is fetching and did invalidate so we know in our whole whole application if if we want to access the countries okay is fetching no okay uh do i need to fetch or yeah i i just need to 
uh, I just get the um, data that I have in if if you have if I have data. Imagine, okay, I just want to show the countries. Do I have a countries dot items length um, bigger than zero? Yes. Okay. So I have data. Is fetching false? Did it validate false? Maybe I can show it. Uh, if it's empty, no, I have to fetch it and just work with this. Or is fetching true? Oh, I wait until this fetching is set to false because I don't want to uh, like access a, a store that is going to be uh, updated in a minute. So um, the user is going to see like because the reactivity of React, uh, f you know, that blinking or that uh, maybe the UI makes some errors while re-rendering the HTML. So this is, and um, for the cities, we make the same uh, way. Uh, of course, when we select the country, we set selected country to the name of the country, just to, to have it easy to, to, to find it. And the countries would be like, okay, this fetching and the validate false. We would be having the items and array of objects because we have, okay, maybe, you know, the name, the ISO code, or the country codes, we would be having, okay, Spain, Italy, Portugal, or France. And now, uh, this is for the state or shape for cities. You see that, okay, now uh, this is the complete state of uh, object of the uh, store. And would be, let me check here, the country would be, so you see that now when we select one country, as in the example of Spain, we would be have, we adding also the uh, Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia, Sevilla, and A Coruña. So and these are the information that we have in the uh, state shape. You have any question uh, about this? Just uh, tell me. Okay, so now uh, when as we we built the um, we, we have seen how we would be adding some actions, how we would be setting the store for for um, uh, handling this asynchronous new way of fetching things. Uh, so now we are going to build the, re the reducers. Okay, we are going to uh, handle these actions. So, for example. If we want to uh, uh, the reducer for the action select country, it's easy. Uh, you, you, we just pay, uh, we just can pass the state, but default is uh, empty. Imagine, and the action. Um, now, if the action is uh, of type of select country, we return the action dot country. If if not, we 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 return the complete state. That's the normal reducer of all okay so um this this now how we are going to build deal with the cities with the uh, uh, so i think this is also this is like uh let me do this okay so and uh, let me undo the this spain uh, Spain. Spain. Okay. So okay. So okay. So now we have this better. Okay. Now for the cities. What we want to do for the cities is, uh, well, what you saw of evaluating uh, subreddit is these examples are uh, what you will see at the end of the lessons, um, all the um, resources where I, I, I took the examples, where I took the, 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 the architecture of how to explain these parts, okay? So this is from the, I think, from the from the official Redux documentation where you they tell you how to uh, fill a, a list of subreddit categories, posts, and, and that kind of things. So, um, when we are want to do is, okay, I want to 
uh, get the cities and we have two actions related to this city so we will have to do a reducer that uh, works with these two um, with these two um, let me check uh, 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 uh. with these two okay like like at this here look at that I didn't I wanted to have some errors but I didn't want to have so many errors so this is like the this selects uh, yeah, I wanted to leave it like if it were like okay we are doing like life codes but uh, it's uh, horrible so cities are here yeah and this is here so hope we don't have much errors typos or like this yeah because uh, I you I wanted to uh, see that I don't put here the name of the uh, of the codes and I leave you the github so I just was focusing on writing this uh, these codes and just left the other parts outside and later said okay maybe they should be watching how to uh, combine reducers and how to export them if they were in the same file usually i built like if you if you come to other webinars usually i build this in one file this in another file and this in a, in the same file as this and the combined reducers would be like okay in the redux index.js i put export a root reducer that combines all the reducers and imports uh, the uh, files from the uh, from those folder without including the index uh, the proper index so if you want to, to to check the cities, okay, we have to okay, we have two actions: the request cities when we begin the uh, API uh, request, and the receive cities when the API responds us, or we have the timeout. Okay, so uh, the timeout. Sorry, I'm not um, managing it here because the timeout would be like okay, invalidate cities because we would would, would be um, updating it with the did invalidate true. It's difficult because I don't want to show a lot of code in the presentations, and you know, because the, in depending on how how you come to the to the to these webinars, I would be doing it, you know, in different ways. So, um, in request cities, we have okay, we just uh, retain the state as it is. Remember that object assigns uh, just uh, copies or matches two objects, so. Uh, so it puts a state in an empty object, copies it without references, okay? Uh, so it's a way that, you know, if you want to uh, shallow copy something, use object assign or ECMAScript 6 uh, way of doing this. So, uh, but we put is fetching true. So this action, this uh, re um, reducer just would be update. Remember that we don't update directly the state, just return a new state with the is fetching true, the is invalidate false, and when we have the receive cities, we would be um, doing okay. I create a new state object with the old state, but so this is sorry. Uh, in this object, we put this and this. Okay, we copy, we will write this in this object, and we copy it here. So the old state, we change the uh, is fetching to false because we had it in true. Did it to false because this is like the uh, success request. We have the uh, the items are like action cities. And last updated is the action received ads. Okay. So it's like everything is working here. See? So uh, <laughs> this is how we work. Uh, see that uh, we had the received that here is an example where in the sample say now we could put the last updated if you want we would be having like the case invalidate cities or uh, time uh, error receiving cities and we would put like is fetching false did invalidate false uh, now uh, instead this is like an internal function um, uh, because uh, if we prefer it we just do like a cities by country name function and we uh, call this inside here. It's just uh, the way, like, uh, see here is the action subreddit. So this is from from the from the code there. 
Uh, sorry, for, sorry about that. I will change it for the uh, PDF. But this is the way. Okay, I, I just wanted to. I, I just thought even that for this webinar, just go into the documentation and read it with you because I wanted like to make things different because maybe last webinars were like to to like uh, reading the PDFs. So maybe uh, to show you how uh, how to learn or how to read something. Uh, so so you know uh, go to the and this was taken from the Redux uh, original post, just changing it to an example uh, example for you and trying to understand how they do it and how you should do it so this is how now uh, we have this now for what we see in Redux tank Redux tank it's a middleware okay so now we are going to see uh, how we uh, add Redux tank go to the webinar 6 to see this uh, at the end of the code or for the references you will see how to import and create the the um, to, the in, in, m m merge all the middlewares use in an application so it's like okay we need to add uh, in our in our application uh, middle redux middleware and add the redux tank library and put it in where we, you put all the middlewares you add so that's that's what you need so it's not important but remember that it's something that it's a, uh, it's a, a third party extension because it's a redux middleware um that's it's uh, that it's in between the dispatching of action and the moment that it reduces the reducer so it's here okay so relax tank is something that is between the action and the reducer so that's uh, uh, also you have the resource for where i took this uh, image um okay so now we have to think about how we can create our action creators asynchronous. We have seen that the reducers are the same. It's, we don't have to do anything. We just do the the uh, API call or, or, or whatever we need. We, we Okay, so I think I have even here something. Uh, I think here, yeah, I think here is lost something about, uh, I want to leave this for the end. I think we don't have here the, I lost the uh, where I will do the API call. I think this is this is something where yeah, I think this is not uh, copied properly. So we will see there. So um, so uh, for the actions, okay. Oh, sorry, it's the action creators. Yeah, it's sorry. I'm I'm. Uh, so this is this is this is this is well. This is just the reducer. We just receive the action and and everything in the action that is returned. Because now what we are going to do is, okay, when we create an action, we we have we can return do actions with side effects, okay, and that's what we are going with Redux tank, right? So now our fetch cities action. We we have seen how we would create the request city, and the receive cities the select country but okay i want to create a fetch cities action to import it okay just my api I, when the user clicks here i just want to fetch cities okay so in this example uh what it does you see that now we can return this uh, new function this is all uh, uh, all done in the webinar six so that's why uh i'm not sure i don't want to repeat much um here but uh we this middle, you know, here in Thunk Middleware, inside of the Thunk Middleware, inside the library, they have uh, the dispatch and passes this dispatch to the these actions, to this action. So we have it available inside every uh, action. So we can use it as an argument. And now we can uh, return functions from our actions. And that's why inside our normal action creator we are returning a new function that wasn't possible without redux tank and this function receives the dispatch function that uh, is passing is passed from the um, redux tank so now what we do first for fetch cities is okay i dispatch the request cities by the country uh passed you know, so now, okay, I do the API call, okay, like, okay, imagine, not the API call, but uh, I, I update the, the state for, okay, now we are uh, uh, fetching, 
we, it's fetching to true. I want to uh, all my application to know that, okay, we are requesting cities. So the state is updated to inform that the API call is starting, as you see. Later, now I return, you know, I return, I want to do the, the API call because we are in the action and now our option creators because they are using rather stank, they are using something that let us do uh, side effects in our action creators. Okay, so we can return a, a value, or we can return a function. We what we return is a promise, as you see, because Fetch API uh, is a, it works with a promise, that's why it has the done. But uh, you can return wherever you want, but in our case, we like it. Uh, it will wait, okay, because it's we are doing the then it will wait until the then function is doing is done. You see, here is like a some URL, or maybe it's our internal API, just you know, uh, some URL to, to fetch. Now, um, in the then we just okay, we just uh, uh, this is an inconcatenated then because you know we have the response and we retrieve the JSON response, we return the JSON response here. Uh, they tell us to not use catch because this will also catch any error in the dispatch and result in render causing a loop of unexpected batch number errors. You have the link for that uh, issue in the React library in, in the repository in GitHub to know more information, but you know, it's okay. I don't use catch. I just get the error uh, inside the then response. Okay. So, because we are returning something from the then and JSON, the JSON function is also synchronous, we need to add our another then, and as it, as it was inside the then function, we can dispatch again another action. So, one thing about Redux Thunk is that you can dispatch its uh, actions many times inside an action creator. So, now that we have Okay, we have update, uh, updated the state at first that, okay, we want to request cities, update that we are uh, requesting cities. Okay, I just ask, I just make a, an API call that wasn't possible to do it in our um, uh, pure functions, our action creators that only could return an, an object and we couldn't do any external uh, things. So now we can fetch an API inside of it with the uh, information when once we get it, okay, we dispatch Okay, now we call this receive cities that we know that we passing it the JSON response from the API will do everything to update the state into uh, with these cities and you will see how the store uh, as before. So this is where I told you that uh, how you could create the Redux and the Redux uh, Thank. So you see that uh, you import Thank middleware from Redux Thank. That would be using run at Redux Thang as library. Um, for example, and uh, once we create the store in our seconds, in this case, argument, we can pass the uh, with the function from uh, available from Redux, the apply middleware. We pass all our middlewares, our custom middlewares, our other external middlewares as here the create logger, that is from uh, Redux logger uh, uh, library. And that's now the store has that that uh, middleware uh, added. So that's what you need to do. And now see store dot dispatch. We can dispatch actions with that um, and actions that have set effects and asynchronicity. So that's uh, that's something that you, you 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 if we if you go with this webinar and the one before. In the six uh, one, I think you and with of course all the information in the nano degree issue rates. Uh, I, I, for the last year since I, I finished my nano degree, they made a huge uh, 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 effort to make it easier. Redux. Uh, another thing that I saw important to show you about Redux synchronicity and Redux tank is that. We have seen how to use an API call, but another thing that is quite different or complicated to do, and you have the, uh, a link for the, um, also for the um, post in this, if a medium, a medium a blog, uh, uh, you will see uh, how to explain this. But in general, uh, React doesn't work well with a sync await. For example, in the render method, you can do it asynchronous. So 
uh, we do have a lot of workarounds and uh, but in the new next release of react 16 we will be having like a very nice tools for scope the splitting and one of these um, things is suspense library that uh, suspense yeah library it, it will let us manage better asynchronous code with the new async await uh, problem so for example if you try to do this async render uh, function uh, without nothing and you try to render to a string and elements uh, created as a my components these are examples from this it will throw a invariant violation objects are not valid as a react child so that's because you are using the async uh, method so that's an, an example to show you okay you can't do it uh, Render to a string is like uh, trying. This is our advanced examples because once you go to re re React now, the the new JavaScript is okay. Before we were rendering everything from the server. Uh, some years ago, we were uh, rendering everything in the client, like okay, single app page, uh, pages application. Now we are like okay, first rendering from the server, later updating from the from the client. So. Um, depending on what you seek, now we are like doing a lot of server-side rendering. SSR is also the abbreviation. So this kind of examples go about that. No, okay, you use a library that is for uh, seeing uh, how the server boot um, render something, and we use the render to string function, and it shows that that wouldn't be working. So we would wouldn't boot. Uh, we put in we wouldn't be able to put a sync whenever we want. It's also it's, it's nice because you know if we have to let React uh, let us know how to deal with this. Um, so, uh, for example, they tell us okay we could be using uh, um, lifecycle methods. Remember we have now hooks, but it's like in, thinking in classes, uh, in component mounts uh, we could put like asynchronous code doing the uh, await inside and this kind of things would be working but uh, it's not wait for the component well, component will mount this um, this is not because in, in the original uh, block they tell about component will mount and just change it to the component did mount and you know um, so this also has errors so what's why this everything here because now with redux tank because it lets you uh, do asynchronous code we can do uh deal with async weight so now you see here in the same code we have in component mount we set uh, the states we subscribe to the state it's like the old uh, way of doing with the libraries and we want to render and create a uh, creation of element of an h1 with this count that shows the count in the state so and uh, state uh, object state to token uh, copied from the redux state so i want to uh, dispatch when this component is uh, created the async dispatch dispatch type action increment log the render to screen of how this uh, component should be shown await for okay now i want to set uh, immediate and um, now i want to dispatch the decrement so it's like okay we, we dispatch an increment we dispatch a decrement but in between we do a set uh, like a set them out and we want to render both things now uh, on the right you have how these reducers for increment and decrement would be working uh with uh, redux store like just adding an uh removing one from the count so you should, you should be watching one zero one zero one zero one zero and you will see like okay now this works so this was like okay uh uh thanks comes to the rescue you can now work with asynchronous code you can see uh everything from this webinar uh, from the previous one as always I will wait some minutes, some seconds, if you have other questions. Okay, no questions. Um, 
So, as always, I leave you the resources. Oh, wait, I don't know what's happening here. For this, uh, yeah, you have the advanced assigned actions. This is the mostly where the example was taken. Uh, this, I think, is where I took the uh, image. Uh, this is one that talks to you about other libraries for uh, Redux React, uh, like, you know, Redux Saga and Red, uh, Redux Router. We have a lot of them. And this is where we took uh, with the, I think, no, this is the, for the image. And let me check, just, this is the one, uh, uh, sorry, yeah. And this is where they talk about the, uh, how a sync await uh, takes us into trouble. So thank you for watching. Sorry for uh, the, the, all the errors in the, on the, on the uh, presentation. I wanted to make it more live uh, editing, more live error prone, but you know, I, I just le did left a lot of uh, copy paste or editation errors. Sorry for that. Um, I will query you about how you want to deal with React Native webinars. Um, because last, last week we, we, I finished with normalizing state shape. That would be a webinar more or less like this one with quick examples about how to, to just watching, uh, JSON data examples, other websites, maybe even I don't create the, the presentation because, uh, it's just, you know, dynamic work or so. And later we will be discussing how you want to, to do the, um, React's uh, native contents and what the, these webinars will be. Remember that we have two weeks for finishing the um, Redux uh, project to be in time. And so any question, any doubt you have, please share, please share. If it's advanced or, or newer or, you know, not advanced information, just let me know it. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Uh, thank you, Yuda City, for giving me the opportunity to 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 be mentor here. Um, as always, stay Yuda's. Bye, people.